Okay, so today I decided we are going to do a how-to at-home manicure. <coughs> now normally you can start with one of these and you put hot soapy water in it and soak your fingernails. But cleaning up this kind of sucks and then you kind of, it's in your way when you're trying to do the rest of the stuff. So I never usually use that. First step I do is take a acetone based nail polish remover and some fluffy cotton balls. And I remove all my nail polish. <coughs> Now, sometimes glitter is a bit hard to get off, so what you can do is take your lid of your nail polish remover and pour some in. And soak your finger in the polish. Sometimes that'll help loosen the glitter off the nail. I also like to kind of clean up my workstation when I get remove all the polish just to clear it up for when you go to start doing the rest of the stuff. The next thing you can do is either using an instant cuticle remover or just a cuticle remover. I prefer this one just because it's kind of quicker. And taking a cuticle stick, you can either use the plastic kind or the wooden ones. And apply this all onto your cuticles. And then just taking your cuticle stick, you're just going to push the cuticles all back. I like to keep a napkin around just so when I have extra stuff I can wipe the cuticle gel off. Now once you have all your cuticles pushed back, you can use, um, this is True Blue Spa's Sugar Scrub for your hands. Um, the consistency is really thick. It's a really thick sugary scrub that you kind of exfoliates your skin and takes all the dead skin off. This is really nice. It smells really good too. So you can use this and this washes off all of the cuticle gel which you do not want to leave on your nails and gets all the excess skin off. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. Alright, now that we have a clean hand and we've scrubbed all the dirt from underneath our nails, sometimes you might have a little bit of excess dirt that you couldn't get. So you can go and follow through with the end of your cuticle pusher and just get all the dirt from underneath the nail. Now sometimes you might have like where your nail has started to peel back. That's not really attractive. We don't really like that. So you can either take a nail file that has the four sides for steps to get smoother nails, or something you might be more familiar with is a nail cube. And you start with side one, and this evens out the nail. So you just simply go like this. Sometimes if you can't get all of it evened out, you might just need to peel it back or use a rougher texture. And that'll smooth it out. Then you go back in with your step one. Evening out, like side one says. We've already changed the difference, so it's a nice smoother thing. Now we're going to go to side, stu side two, which is going to smooth the nail out. So as you can see, it's now made a smoother and nice and cleaner look. Now for the next step, we're going to buff the nail, which is going to give it a little bit of a sheen. Now here's what a nail looks like after it's been buffed. Now we're going to go to the final side and that is shine nail. This is going to have, obviously add a shine to our nails. 
And here you have it. That's what the nail looks after all four sides are completed. So yes, you can see it cleans it up really nicely. Now, because you have all this extra nail fiber, I like to keep some wet naps around. These are the Yes to Cucumber facial towelettes. Um, you can use that baby whites or anything. I just really like these because they're cucumber and they're really um, moisturizing and all that. So we're just, just kind of wipe off the nail, make sure you get all the extra nail sand stuff off. And then again, we're going to go back to and clean our station. Now next thing we're going to do is put a base coat on our nails. I am using Sea Clear and this is a crystal clear base coat. The reason you want to do a base coat is if you're doing a dark nail polish or anything like that, the base coat protects your nails so it keeps it the nice white so you don't have that yellow stain like red gives you or like a dark black. So what we're going to do is just apply this to our nails. Now next I decided to go with a pastel color just because it's really in for spring. This is Sally Hansen Smooth and Perfect in the color Air. It's a really pretty baby blue. Now when you paint nails, you don't want to go all the way up to your cuticle line just because it's messy and can just not look very nice. So what you're going to do the trick I was taught is you, you pull the color out and you swipe on the one side. So you're going to completely clear, polish off the one side so you have just the polish on this side. Now then, I start about a quarter of the way down the nail and apply in the middle, on the left, and then the right. And then kind of follow up and go a little bit higher. You're going to want to be careful. Now again, sticking with our plastic cuticle stick, if I go over, I like to just follow up as I'm painting the nails just because it's easier to clean and keeping a napkin around. Now, when you complete your first hand, I tend to go over my second hand, give it time for your first coat to dry. We're going to do two coats. Alright, now let's go back over for a second coat. As you can see, the difference between doing one and two coats. We have a more opaque on our right with the two coats. Now following up with our final coat, we are going to be going in with Chalet's Clear. This is the <clears throat> Dry Fast Top Coat. Now, let it dry and you're done. Bye!